Big Halo Infinite news happening this week and it's been confirmed by the community director Sketch. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as you ramp up to everything going on with Halo Infinite. So it has been some time since we've actually gotten some concrete Halo Infinite news for us guys. We've had some rumors here and there, some leaks and stuff like that, but nothing straight from 343. This time we finally have something. Recently, a Reddit user going by the name of Red4297 just kind of goes into a quick post on Reddit, just kind of stating his concerns about Halo Infinite. Then that the lack of info currently going on by Halo Infinite is rather concerning, and that's totally justifiable. I mean, we did have that one big December update, which was like the first update we've had in months, which that update did provide a lot of information for us. I mean, it's kind of helped drag this channel through for a few days, trying to come up with some more content to bring talk about that update since it was so large and brought up so many topics. It definitely need to be divided up in multiple videos. But the thing is that last update, though December 8th, which was rather recent, but if you think of the grand scale of things, we had that delay announcement that happened in August, and they had September, October, November, then finally December to give us some news, and now you have January again, rather quiet. So really kind of a lot of months going by with just one update. Though Sketch actually saw this Reddit post and actually replied to it, so I wanted to kind of dissect this down for you guys because it's short and sweet, but it does provide a lot of information for us. So let's get right into it. Again, replying to the post saying, the lack of info worries me. That's kind of just what the whole statement was about the whole Reddit post. Sketch replies back saying, has it though? Not saying it's right or a good thing, but concerning we went 12 month stretches of total darkness and our last update was on December 8th. I don't think there's any cause to worry. Keep in mind that many of us around the studio were out of office for two or more weeks at the end of the year and then it takes time to get back in the swing of things. This is very true uh, because mainly the last two weeks of December is typically dead at Microsoft. Like no one's really working there at all. And so that's why there has been a lot less of information going on about Halo just in general. I mean, it's taken 343 sometime just to get season five going for us. And it's coming in the last Wednesday of the month when the content was already preloaded into the MCC. So it does take time for the office to kind of get back into the swing of things to get the ball rolling again a lot of these topics it's not just like simply just turn on a switch and open let it go because there's so many people that work at 343 everyone needs to sign off on it so there's a lot of moving parts to everything so it, again it's overly complicated but it works kind of situation but now that we've gone off the winter break they're going into work again and but i feel rather confident that we'll be getting a consistent news flow moving forward when it comes to Halo in general. Also, when you say we're out of the office for two weeks, that's kind of more metaphorical at this point since no one's actually working in the office at 343, but you kind of get the idea. Continuing on, we also confirmed our fall release window in that update, so now it's clear we have some runway ahead of us and some time to go. That said, we're committed to at least monthly high level updates and the next Inside Infinite is coming out this week. This month, we're talking with members of the Sandbox team to share some insights into their vision for Halo Infinite and the work they're doing. So to me, this confirms also that we will be getting monthly updates. I know that's been kind of going around. I actually never really read that anywhere unless I'm missing something or I might have missed some offhand comments somewhere on the internet from some 343 employees saying those monthly updates. I think I'll just kind of assume since we're losing our monthly updates now for MCC and I guess we'll be gaining monthly updates for Halo Infinite, which is fantastic. I'm really looking forward to that. Last time they talked with the art style team and also the engagement team as well for Halo Infinite, where the art team discussed some feedback that they got from the community talking about how the armor sets looked a little too clean, the brutes didn't have the proper animation like 
proper facial animations that they're looking to update before the release of the game. And they're also talking about adding facial hair to make, give the brutes more character, which is very much needed, I think, as well. And with the engagement team, they talked about their philosophy behind player engagement, how people are going to interact with this game. How is the season pass going to play around with? How are people going to be unlocking things and interacting with the content within the game? And so not only did we get a lot of great screenshots and cool things to talk about there, but also some great idea, over, overarching ideas of kind of the philosophy behind making Halo. And I think this is going to be a really great update to get some more information when it comes to the sandbox. But this time they're talking about the sandbox. So this is going to be much more nitty gritty stuff that's going to be in the game that you're going to be able to utilize and play around with in Halo Infinite. And judging from what we saw from that demo trailer in July, it does seem like the sandbox has definitely expanded to what's a playable elements for Halo Infinite. So definitely excited about that. We'll definitely go into great detail about that update when it finally does go live. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Continuing on, to manage expectations, this won't have world premiere big screenshots or a huge things like a date announce but our goal is to offer our community more context and insight into our team and the game we're making while we're all awaiting the larger beats and full marketing machine later this year which sounds like it's gonna be kind of like the same kind of stuff that we had last update for december but kind of the same thing but i'm talking more about the sandbox and things like that so we'll probably have some good screenshots of like weapons maybe another thing a multiplayer or something like that or some unique aspect to it uh i wouldn't like i said not expect any kind of big premiere screenshots we're not gonna like give away any kind of context to the campaign or anything like that well if you look over to the camp the last december update that we had and we have some various screenshots like a new multiplayer we'll probably get a lot of this right here with like the rocket launcher example the sniper rifle things like that we might be able to show off some more customization when it comes to that which would be really fun as well again with these screenshots there's a lot of things you can actually kind of pick out of these like obviously these are just kind of here to show a case some of the you know armor coatings with these kind of screenshots but there actually is one screenshot in particular that i definitely wanted to point out is this warthog in the back right here you see how it's kind of all blacked out and kind of you know it doesn't really match because you can see the unsc logo right there but it really stands out the blackness of the warhawk but that's because the lighting apparently just didn't even render on that warhawk so there definitely are some bugs and things like this kind of lingering around within the halo infinite engine there's just like some little things that kind of pick out when it comes to screenshots and stuff like that but this one should be really interesting because i'm sure the sandbox will talking about gameplay elements with the environment as well as weapons for halo infinite so i'm really excited about this update guys it should be happening out later this week when it finally does drop i guarantee you guys i'll be making a video on it as soon as it goes live so make sure you subscribe to the channel keep yourself up to date if you miss any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right over here got a link to all my other news and informational videos we have been out of the loop for the last few days or so so thank you so much for watching really appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out